Welcome everyone. In this part of the lesson, we answer the question, why Python? Yeah, this is the official website of Python programming language. And whenever you need to download a Python, actually you come here and you download the latest version of a Python. But before that, I would like to talk about Python. Now, Python is a programming language like Java or JavaScript or PHP. Python is also a backend programming language. That means it runs in the back end of uh, some application or some service, or it can be used to develop a uh, web application, uh, uh, web application as in a server, or it can be also used to develop uh, a desktop application. What's the desktop application you may say? For instance, if you say uh, this calculator, uh, maybe the calcul this calculator, a calculator is a desktop application that run on my desktop. So you can develop something like this. So it can be also used to develop a desktop application. Uh, what else can we use? So we call this desktop application, they have this graphical user interface, and we use these different libraries like uh, tkinter or pygobject, uh, pyqt, and uh, kiwi, this kind of, you don't have to know them by heart whenever you need them, you just learn the library and uh, you develop desktop application or application that has graphical user interface. And I said also at the very beginning, it can be used for web development. So it allows you to uh, develop a backend like uh, using the Django library or a pyramid, bottle, tornado, flask, or web to buy. But uh, Django and Flask are most popular, even you don't have to remember this, because you will learn this whenever you need it. How about scientific and numeric purpose? We have this SciPy, Pandas, NumPy's, and SQLer. There are quite a lot of them. It's not only this. The list is just on and on and on. Not only this three, okay? So for data analysis, for machine learning, and for many different scientific purposes, there are quite lots of libraries. Uh, and um, yeah, so that is the reason why you learn Python. One, it's so easy to learn. Second, it's very popular. Popular means everybody use it. So you can get solution on the internet to solve some problem. So it has a very big community. If it has a very big community, so you get support, you get a solution for problems. And it's a lightweight also. It's not very heavy. You can just, it's just a small. It's not very uh, big. And uh, that's why you need yeah, popularity or a big community and uh, easy to learn and lots of packages almost for everything. So now it's time to download. Yeah. So you have to come here. You hover over here and then I go all the way here. My uh, mission, my computer is actually Windows. So I will just click over here and it will be downloaded. Yeah, as you can see, it's downloading and I have to wait for some time. Yeah, it seems it's uh, completed. So we have to click over here and uh, something has to pop up. As you can see, I have this dialog box and then I have to click over here. And then install. And then you just wait until everything is complete.
Yeah, setup was successful. Now we just close it. I have just closed this and I have to go to my uh, desktop. And as you can see, I have this. And then if I just write Python, yeah, Python has been actually installed. Or you can just open CMD and then write Python over here, just like this. And as you can see, Python 3.10 has been installed on my local uh, computer or in my computer. So I can just exit and now, yeah. So the installation has been done or completed. Great.